clearly if you look at an astronaut walking in space, EVA, it's clear that humans are extremely well adapted to cold. I mean, here's a person living and breathing in space. But really the question I think people are interested in is how much of that is physiologic. When an astronaut survives in space or an Eskimo survives in the Arctic, uh, that's mostly based on behavioral adaptation. So I think it's important to look at physiologic adaptation. A couple things that our bodies attempt to do to survive in the cold, and one is peripheral vasoconstriction. Our blood vessels actually constrict. And in medical school, we all learned that the reason you do this is to shunt blood to the core. And I always sat in school when I was in med school thinking, what does that mean? So you shunt blood to the core, how does that keep us warm? So instead of calling it simply shunting blood to the core, I like to think of it as reducing heat loss to the environment. In other words, we vasoconstrict these big vascular beds in our hands and our feet and anywhere in our periphery and we're allowing our skin temperature to cool to reduce the amount of heat loss to the cold ambient environment.